Hello everyone, my name is Chen Xia. Today I will give a topic about one of my PhD research, cellulose aerogel beads for heavy metal ions removal. With the water discharged from industry, agriculture and residences contain heavy metal ions like copper, mercury, lead. They are very toxic and non-degradable in nature. They can also threat human health by food chain accumulation. In recent years, Many methods for heavy metal ions removal from waste water have been widely used. From literature survey articles, adsorption is one of the most used technology for waste water treatment. Among different types of uh, absorbents, aerogel possesses more advantages because of its, because of its uh, large surface area, high porosity, easy to recover, and target binding properties. Aerogel was first discovered by Kistler in 1931 using supercritical drying technique on silica gel. Since then, more and more types of aerogel were synthesized with the development of uh, drying techniques. Compared to the inorganic aerogel, polymer aerogels display better mechanical properties, for example, uh, the polyisocyanate uridine aerogel shown in the picture, it can recover to the original state within a second. In recent years, more and more researchers focused on biopolymer aerogels uh, as motivated by more sustainable precursors compared to the oil-derived precursors. Among all of the polysaccharide-based aerogel, Cellulose makes up around 45% of the total publications. As one of the major components existing in plant cell wall, cellulose fiber is uh, built up by the repeated glucose units, as shown in the hierarchical diagram. Typically, it can be uh, isolated from biomass by chemical, mechanical, or enzymatic treatment. To produce the cellulose nanofiber uh, nanomaterials like cellulose nanofibrils and the cellulose nanocrystals, acid hydrolysis is further required to break down the structure. And in my study, cellulose nanofibrils uh, will be used to synthesize the aerogel because of it, because of its um, high aspect ratio. In terms of uh, metal ions removal. Modification of cellulose is necessary to improve its removal capacity because pristine hydroxyl groups uh, it shows a very low affinity for the metal ions. Uh, usually, uh, introducing carboxyl, amine, and phosphate groups to CNF are commonly used method. In many of the previous studies, Cellulose nanofibrils were directly used as the fibril form for metal ions absorption. This will cause uh, secondary contamination because it's not easy to recover the single fibers after absorption. Um, so here we assemble the individual fibers in aerogel form to solve the problem. And meanwhile, cellulose aerogel beads were prepared instead of monolith. So our, our hypothesis is um, smaller aerogel beads will possess larger surface area, shorter diffusion path length, and faster absorption rate when, compar when compared to the aerogel monolith. The amine functionalized cellulose were prepared by cross-linking of polyethylene amine on cellulose nanofibrils by using a uh, epoxy containing uh, silica crosslinker GPTMS. And then the crosslinked mixture was dropped to liquid nitrogen to form the beads with diameter around 3 to 4 uh, millimeters. And the beads were further subjected for phase drying to produce the cellulose aerogel beads. In brief, the porous structure in the beads were constructed by using the as templating. Uh, approach. And the mechanism uh, of this technique 
uh, was shown in the is shown in the diagram in the diagram on the right. The mechanical strength of the white beads uh, were measured by our micro tester instrument, and clearly the strong network uh, were produced after a cross linking reaction. The bead could recover to the original state. Um, without dissociation after 10 cycles of compression um, test uh, when you when 50 percent the string was used we can see in this uh, video then we compared the adsorption rate of aerogel bees in the monolith um, when the same copper concentration was used. It's seen that uh, it needs around eight hours for the aerogel beads to reach the equilibrium, uh, but it needs around 16 hours for the monolith. We ask about the absorption capacity of the bead. Now here we studied the absorption isothermal. Uh, we can find the absorption behavior fit the Langmuir uh, absorption isothermal better and compared to many of the reported uh, absorbent using PEI uh, our bees shown compet com competitive absorption capacity as shown in this table and the, the absorption kinetics were studied to elucidate the absorption behavior of the copper ions the data was fitted uh, to the pseudo first and second order models and the results uh, suggested the data uh, fitted the pseudo second order model better. It means the absorption process was chemical absorption. And in the end, I would like to thank Salu uh, Salsky for the instrument support, uh, thank NSERC for financial support, and thank Time Research Group for their help. Uh, thank you for your attention.